Alhamdulillah Wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulillah Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Tasliman kathira amma ba'd Faya ayyuhal nas Ittaqullah My dear brothers and sisters Before we move on I want to just share to you regarding examinations By the way, recently I've just I've just taken my my oral test, I just AC on based on the subject of English as a second language, and I remember the time that I was very petrified before my slaughter time, and it's quite normal. So how do you how do you clear that fearness? The answer is taqwa. What is taqwa? Taqwa is the sh is refers to a person who shows fear, fearness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's very important to show fearness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because why? Because the torture that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give will be very mind-blowing. If you just simply disobey Allah, you have to think of the torture, right? Imagine yourself in hair fire because of if you're disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why you must feel Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala more than the examinations. Ponder, right in Surah Talaq, part of verse 2 and a part of verse 3. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said in Surah Talaq, verse, part of verse 2, the last part, Right? And who shows the fairness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will open the way out for him. Subhanallah. In other words, Allah will, you know, will try to solve your problem, right? Any sort of problem, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will solve. Then, وَيَرْزُقْهُ مِنْ حَيْثُ لَا يَحْتَسِبُ Subhanallah. Allah said, and He will give the provisions, right? The risk from where He didn't even know, where the person didn't even know, or He can't really imagine, in other words, right? So, these are the benefits of Ibn Taqwa. So, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us be among those who perform Taqwa, right? Right? And I hope this reminder benefits you. And for me, myself, bi ta'ala. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.